Thanks for watching 8 News at 530. I'm Deanna Albritton. I'm Heather Hope. In just two weeks, voters in Henrico will cast their ballots on issues impacting the school system, public safety, and parks. 8 News reporter Jeremy Wall is live with how much the referendum is valued at and what will happen if it passes. Jeremy. Heather and Deanna, that referendum is valued at $511 million. If it passes, students can be going to newly constructed schools, and residents here in Henrico County can see some newly constructed firehouses. Schools, including Longin Elementary and Guiacasin Middle School, might look different in the future if voters agree to rebuild these schools. According to Deputy County Manager Brandon Hinton, two-thirds of the money from the bond referendum will go towards Henrico County school system. Good governments maintain the infrastructure that they have. Um, it's difficult to do because they're very expensive projects, uh, but good local governments take care of their schools and make sure that when they get to a certain age, uh, that we do something about them. Schools like Longin and Davis Elementaries were built in the 1960s. Just like the schools, some of the firehouses in the county will also be rebuilt because of how old they are. Others will be renovated. Hinton tells me why he thinks this $5 million bond referendum is critical for Henrico County. We believe $511 million is an affordable amount uh, for the county in the position that we're in. Uh, Henrico is a triple, triple A rated locality, meaning it has the, the best credit rating possible. Um, and it allows us to issue the debt at the lowest interest rate, uh, but also shows how responsible we are of the debt that we issue. If the referendum passes, improvements will also be made to Deep Bottom Park. Absentee ballot and early voting has already begun. Anyone interested in casting their ballot before Election Day can do so now. In Henrico County, Jeremy Wall, 8 News.